Hi, <clears throat> my name is Lizzie McWilly. Um, I'm with Building Community Workshop based in Dallas. Um, so just because I'm not sure that everyone is familiar with what creative placemaking is, um, I just pulled a definition of it um, as defined by the National Endowment for the Arts. So uh, creative placemaking um, partners from public, private, nonprofit, and community sectors strategically shape the physical and social character of a neighborhood, town, city, or region around arts and cultural activities. Creative placemaking animates public and private spaces, rejuvenates structures and streetscapes, improves local business viability and public safety, um, sorry, and brings diverse people together to celebrate, inspire, and be inspired. So um, I, I took our comments and put them into three categories. So first off, why creative placemaking? Creative placemaking can be thought of as part of a holistic approach to community, um, community building. Uh, it's highly engaged, builds on community strengths, increases overall civic participation, highlights history, builds pride and hope in place that then can help attract returning, attract returning um, and new uh, residents and retain existing ones. Um, creative placemaking can help cultivate community leaders, build and fund cross-disciplinary uh, partnerships and collaboration. Um, and uh, there's currently a lot of funding available right now for this kind of work. So we talked about the importance of following the money. Um, we also discussed a number of barriers to doing this kind of work. Um, we discussed that engagement in rural communities is sometimes um, more difficult or different than um, how these projects operate in urban environments where rural communities might not have the neighborhood associations or some of the other community associations um, that urban communities rely on for this kind of work. But we discussed that there are other kind of community networks that can be built on. Um, this kind of work also has some problems with people coming into a community, um, and it isn't, this isn't just with creative placemaking, but other kinds of work, or community development work, community development work in general, where people come to a community and think that they know what's right um, without really understanding the context of, of the place that they're trying to do work in, um, which is why community engagement is so vital to this, uh, these types of projects, is to make sure that um, folks doing the work have, uh, understand the community, um, are working with stakeholders, um, and aren't just doing what they think needs to be done. Um, there can be challenges getting people involved who have children or other kinds of obligations, um, although creative placemaking has lots of opportunities for making all ages, uh, of all age events, um, and can also be intergenerational, fun, et cetera, to get people um, involved. Um, in ways where they're not having to forego their other obligations. Um, there also can be challenges with the same, it's always the same 10 people coming to events doing the work, um, but it's also pointed out with, pointed out that without migration um, in communities that now those 10 people, it's more like five people. Um, however, creative placemaking can also help cultivate new leaders and help plug the drain um, by retaining existing uh, residents. Um, and then we also discussed what could we say that would help convince policymakers to invest and elevate creative placemaking. Um, we said it would be important to highlight the economic benefits of increased cultural activities, um, that cultural and artistic health of a community is important to its success. And we discussed maybe is there some way to officially assess the cultural health of a community. Um, this kind of programming can help save money by increasing overall health in terms of physical, economic, and social health of a community, and those savings can then be reinvested in the, the community. Um, and we also thought it was important to ask, why is rural America important? These kinds of projects can help build on strengths, um, but we also discussed that this kind of work can help shift thinking about the urban-rural divide and that um, it would be possible to highlight that what makes the rural stronger also makes the urban stronger and vice versa, and that that would be a way um, to 
convince uh, policymakers overall that this kind of work was important. Thanks.